Alright, so I'm back in my garage, but today is Monday, Memorial Day. Um, thank you to every single veteran that um, has fought in the war, uh, died fighting for our country, served our country in any way. Air Force, Navy, Marines, uh, uh, Army, Navy SEALs, all that. All of them. Um, Thank you to all those who have served our country in any way, um, who have died for our country, um, my grandpa, uncle, great uncle, uncle, great uncle, great uncle, great uncle, cousin, they have all been, uh, Air they've been Air Force, um, two of them been in the Air Force, and the rest are Army or Navy. Um, the third, uh, none of them died it, uh, fighting for a country though, um, uh, none of them died fighting for a country, but they all made it out alive, but they did serve. Uh, my dad's out at the graves, putting flowers out there right now, um, grabbed from Lucas TV, he, he fought in a war, so, thanks to him, um, right now my uncle, he's still active in the, uh, Air Force, my cousin, he's Nail first doctor. Um, yeah. Just thank you to everyone that's in the Air Force, in the Army, Marine Corps, SEALs, Navy, Army, everything. You know, just big shout out to you guys. You know, the GS scheme lives. Um, my dad, he was going to go to the Army, but then he decided he wanted to be a police officer. So. Uh, my family has a long line of people that were in the army, fighting, all that. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Um, just thank you to all of them. Um, oh, it's a coronavirus and everything right now. And the Memorial Day. It's just even more sad for everyone. Especially if they have people that have died in the family. Like my West uncle, Virginia. like all my uncles, except like, for the one that's still in the army, or the, not the army, the um, Air Force. All of them are dead. My grandpa, he died two days after my 11th birthday, which was in 2016. Um, that was sad, but he, I just got to see my birthday. And see, you know, so he died. Um, my uncle, my great uncles, and uh, the uncles that were in the war, they have also passed on. Um, I didn't really know any of them, um, because I was young when they died. I was just like one or two, maybe a few months when they died. Um, but they were in the army and stuff, and Air Force. Um, but they died, but they gave me gifts and presents and stuff, which is super nice because they one gave me a compass, which that's just awesome. So, yeah, um, I thank them for that, but just, I thank uh, all of them for the services. Um, there's only two West that are alive right now, which one is my uncle, my mom's brother, and then the other is my cousin, my dad's sister's son. And they're both in the Air Force, Air Force right now. My uncle is Air Force, my cousin, I know he's in the Air Force, I don't know much about that area there, he lives in Georgia though, and then my cousin, he is in the Air Force, he's an Air Force doc doctor though, practicing doc doctors and all that there, uh, to him, Rob, everyone knows Rob from Monkey's TV, thanks, big thank you to him. Serving our country and all that, uh, he did. Just amazing. All my People just risk everything. His family, lives, everything to serve our country. Um, yeah. Uh, and they, once you serve in the army, you serve it. Um, my phone just cut off for right there. But as I was saying, once you serve our country, um, you serve it until you die. You know, flag outside in the front, big neck in your hands. Just living the American dream, you know. 
this time. Uh, Chevy, Ford, you know, pickup truck in the front yard, flag, all that. Um, you just serve it until you die. You love your country if you serve in the army. If you don't serve in the army, you love your country. Just not as much as those that have served for our country because they know how, what it is like to fight for our country and fight for our rights and all that. And they've gone through it and everything. So they, they're just more attached to us. Just totally patriotic. Just, they don't they don't care. They don't they have to die for the country, they won't die. They have to die to protect the people they love. They're gonna do it, you know. They're just like they're not fearless. I wouldn't say they're fearless, but like they're almost fearless. So it's just crazy the amount of guts it takes just to do that. And a woman do it too, you know, women's rights and all that. And, off of that, you know, just amazing, um, everything that's just going on right now, it's just hard for everyone I know, um, everyone is just inside, it's just a board, or scared, or just mourning people they lost, um, it's just tough, but, uh, I'll make the best of it, i the best of it. Keep driving, keep fighting, trying to get the money to pay their rent or their mortgage or house payments, anything, everything. You know, trying everything, just growing on everything, just bored, struggling, you don't know what they're going to do, they're scared. Uh, but if you think of how everyone that has fought for a country think, do you think they would be scared? Yeah, they, they're out there with a chicken. AK-47 and crap, just and then people like a hundred feet away from him got another AK-47 right back at him. Any second you could just get a bullet right, right, that just hits you. Just goes right to you, a bomb, bomb, a grenade, just comes to him, bow, you gone. You know, he's gonna be gone like that. And then you're never gonna see your family again. That's all it's the biggest fear of anything anyone in the army, just, when I leave, I might never see you guys again, so, you just gotta get everything off your chest, just tell them everything, tell me you love them, and all that, and if you don't, and you, if you don't, if you don't see them again, you're just gonna feel bad, and, what, same for, vice versa, the family telling you, dad, or mom, when they leave, just you gotta say you love them, you know, cause you might not, never see them again, if you don't see them again, and you never say you love them, then it's just like, you, you wish you got to say the stuff to you know, so, yeah, you know, just one last hug with this kiss, you know, so, yeah, you just got to see it back, if you see a veteran, uh, you know, six feet apart, you know, but, it just, don't do it, just shake his hand, talk to him at least, you know, just say thank you, um, just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a struggle. You know, you see a veteran or someone actively serving, you know, people as a veteran or actively, actively serving, or, you know, a wife or a husband of one that served, or is you're serving, you know, thank them, too, because you're you know, as much as a person serving, you know, husband overseas fighting for the team, what is it, and as much as he is, because you have to take care of the kids, and take care of the family. Everything, you know, so thank them for both their thing, both them, you know, just talk to him, say thank you, shake his hand, put a glove on, shake his hand, and hand sanitize, you know, just do, just shake his hand, you know, you don't have to be like a hug or a kiss, just shake his hand, say thank you, talk to him a little bit, um, you know, just say thank you, but, yeah, just think about I just had, have to say that because it's Memorial Day and I have a whole kind of my family that I have not anymore, so, uh, so yeah, just okay. okay, that's all I have for you guys, stay American, stay healthy, stay inside, stay safe, thank people, all people about me, you know, go for flowers at people's graves, you know, like everything else I'm doing, but yeah, just do it, have fun. Thank you for everything, you know, the hot summer day, riding over, 
a barbecue, you know, barbecue, something like that, you know, just have them over, be nice, be kind, be thankful. So, yeah, just do what you would want someone to do. To so, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope Almost this mot heaven. motivated you, changed your mind. West made you um, just think about everything that has been done for our country and all the struggles and everything. So, yeah, stay safe, guys. God bless. Keep praying about this. Stay safe. Just have God help you through this time. Don't try to do it yourself. Pray to God. Help him. Have him help you. And, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to all the veterans watching this video. Thank you so much. You are best viewers, most viewers, you know, that for the constant me, my country, and everyone else in the community. Thank you for that.